Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Pots, Pans, and Priscilla. Today we are decorating my front porch because it's spring and it's not done. Can you even believe that? So come along and let's get decorating. Okay, so next I'm starting my flower pots. This is where you bring in your husband to help you so you don't have to get dirty. <laughs> So I have a vision. I don't know if you've been you following wear a us white shirt, for you? any time, you know that like I always have a vision. I sent Asa my vision and now he helps me make that vision come to life. So I'm also a very colorful person, mm -hmm. love all the colors, but teal is my favorite. So we're going to put some dirt in this pot, right? Sure are. Okay. And then we're going to like just take the plants and just kind of, I want it to be overflowing. Okay. 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 Let me teach you how to do this. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so you don't have to, you can use really big pots. Yeah. Um, without using a whole, without using a whole pot full of dirt. Oh, okay. So this is a pretty good sized pot because like our flowers are only, so what do you want in the middle, I guess is the big question, right? Because you have some taller ones I see over here. I do. So you probably want a taller one in the middle. Okay. okay, and then have like, these are gonna kind of be a little more bushy, so you can have those around the edge, and these are gonna kind of fall over the edge, so those could be on the very edges. Okay. Is that so kind of what you're looking at? So these are for a different project over there. Okay, so we're not counting those. The purple ones are, are gonna for go this in one. here. Okay. Yeah. Now those are different kind of flowers, they're gonna require less water than... They're gonna be fine. Okay, they will be because they're smaller, so they're shallow. Yeah. Okay. So one thing you can do to save a lot of space, a lot of dirt and a lot of weight is to turn a bucket or, or a flower pot upside oh. down inside your pot. Um, and you just put it in there and dump dirt on top of it. And that'll save you. Cause you know, depends on how deep you need to go, but we may or may not do that. And I'll show you another tip too, for um, getting kind of your arrangement the way that you want it as well. So I did pick full sun. So full sun for these means six plus hours a okay. day. Um, oh, see that's short. Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna have it up to here. Yeah. Okay. So we could actually do um, one of these in the bottom to kind of, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that. Yep. So go ahead and set that over there gently. Oh gosh. We're not gonna need that yet. I just want to kind of start building up our dirt. Okay. You don't want to put gloves or anything on or like you just go in? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going in. Okay. So it's like cooking. So last night I was making meatballs mm -hmm. and my girlfriends were like, why do you have gloves on? Cause I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch the meat. <laughs> Same thing with this. Oh, I could have gone and got like food gloves. Yeah. You could do that. Totally. Yeah. If you don't have garden gloves. So I'd love to hear what your favorite flowers are. I don't really care. It's just low maintenance because- You just sound like you didn't care. I want to hear what your favorite flowers are. I don't really care. No, no. I care about your favorite flowers. I don't no, have- No, I'm going to edit it so it sounds like you don't care. <laughs> I'd love to hear what your favorite flowers are. I don't really care. I personally don't have a favorite flower for this type of thing. I just like colorful and I like it to come out of the pot and like- drape you want to hand me the other tall one that you got there that's still in the pot it's this one no no the these pink. are not tall the pink baby no no that's for my other pot I, I understand that yeah why so confused you know you love to run the show you know that? <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put dirt around the pots okay and then we pull the pots out and then you have your hole does that make sense? Oh, I yeah. thought you were leaving the pots in there. No, no, no. That okay. pot will stay in the bottom to kind of fill in. Okay. This one we're just using as kind of like a, a, a place marker. A template. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh my gosh, you put dumped dirt all over my... I know there's dirt on the plants. What are we going to do? <sighs> she just need me to stand here and look cute? I mean, if you want to stick your hands in the dirt, you are more than welcome. It's okay. Just gonna get under my nails, and this is why your mom doesn't have nails. This is exactly why my mom doesn't have nails. Yeah, I don't know if you know this or not, but Asa's mom is a master gardener, so 
he grew up doing this kind of stuff. I did not, but I love it. I love the concept. Okay, let's do, what do you, so what do you want to do around it? So I want to do, see like those? These colorful ones? Yeah, but. I'm not going to be able to get the whole pot in here, so we're just going to go ahead and pop this one out. I can do that. And a little, a little large. This one's not going to be centered like we wanted it, but. It's, it's okay. It'll be, it'll look it's good on the porch. It's going to Yep. So again, these are all full sun. But see, by adding that spacer in there, yeah, it really it brings things up. to the top. And yeah. still gives you good room for the roots, you know? Yeah. Okay, here you go. And that big old thing too, huh? Yep. You got it. I don't like you're just, sparse. You're shoving it in the pot, huh? Yep. Just, we're yep. Just, okay. We're making it work. All right, let's stick that in there. We're going to do it without complaining. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Well, yeah, not really. Bigger is better. <laughs> I don't want any chintzy looking. And I'm telling y'all, like, it's so fun to. I mean, you could go buy this already pre-made, but it's fun to like put your own your All own right. twist. I was on thinking it. more of like a centerpiece with the tall and then around, but we're, okay. we're kind of got like a backstop of. <sighs> we'll just squish it. Yeah, I think it'll work. I think it's gonna be great. Okay. It's a small, it says. Look at all those roots. Yeah. So just. Yeah, just squish it. There you go. It's great for the root structure to just yeah. squish it. Oh yeah, that's what we need. Yep. Look at that. I feel like we have a spot right there we could put something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that so pretty? You know, I was gonna give a little like, oh, this is, you know, and uh, I'm not a gardener or anything, but, you know, I know a little bit. I was going to give a little tutorial, then you're just like, nah, squish it in there, yeah. you know? But look, we have an empty spot right here. Yeah, we should put dirt in there. No. One of these. We don't want to have an empty spot. You just have to, you just have to squish it, and then... Yeah, put the flat side towards the other plants there. Yep. I'm sorry, what? There's They're a flat, all flat side. sides. <laughs> no, no, okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Isn't it so pretty? I love it. It's perfect. It's my vision. Okay. This is packed in there. Yep. This is probably not enough pot for this many flowers, but it's going to be great. We're going to go with it. Yeah. We'll give it some water. Yeah, you do want to water immediately. Um, you can work with damp soil. It's not going to really make that big of a difference, but definitely water them immediately and then the next day as well. Do you, are there holes in this, by the way? Oh, I don't know. Is there know. drainage? Nope. Okay, so we're going to have to put some drainage in the bottom of this. <laughs> well, that's do you like what, it? I do. It looks beautiful. I mean... Yep. No, it looks great. It really goes with All right, the we'll aesthetic. We'll water it when we get it up front because it's going to be a whole lot lighter, okay, but yeah. i got to tip it over and drill holes in the bottom too. So. Okay. I'll just put a couple holes in there. Okay. Oh, it's not too heavy at all. Okay, good. Yep. Oh, it looks so pretty. Okay. okay, we'll do the second one and then we'll get them up front. Yeah. If you are a DIYer, this is called a step bit. Focus. This is called a step bit. It's a type of drill bit. Um, you don't need it for this project, but get you a step bit, okay? What's wrong? <laughs> Drainage. Oh, you just have to poke them out? <laughs> Punch out for drainage. <laughs> See? Look how easy that is. Voila. Voila, she says. Now we have them in their place. We can put water in the pots. And we'll just keep this little watering can out here. When we come out to check the mail, we'll water the plants. Oh. <laughs> Ace told me they need more water. <laughs> I don't really know. I like nice things, but I'm the reason we can't have nice things. <laughs> I'm the worst gardener ever. This is the one place in my house, or at my house, that you'll see a word sign. Whether it be, welcome to our home, or the season that it might be. I get so much flack, but I don't care. 
I'm living my best word life sign. Life. <laughs> okay, and then this is, other than the pots, this is the only new thing I purchased this year. It's a doormat. Guys, these are like disposable. Um, I buy new ones for every season. They're like $12. You can always find them on sale. I'm gonna keep my rug that I've had here the whole time for a few seasons now, but I'm just gonna put this over top. And then these I got last year at Kirkland's, but I did see them today at Kirkland's. So they're solar powered, so they light up, right? They light up at night. Okay, I've got my American flag, my pretty flowers, I'm gonna wipe the tops of these off. My mat, all I have left is Priscilla's infamous wreath. I got a new wreath today. <laughs> I'm so excited. And the finishing touch. Um, I got this at Kirkland's today and I'm so excited. Who doesn't love a great wreath? There we go. And I cannot wait for my ship shopper to come because she actually made a comment that she couldn't believe I didn't have my decor up yet. So people do appreciate what I do out here. Thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you guys appreciate the decor. And aren't you so excited it's spring? I know I am. I cannot wait to get in our pool, hopefully soon. So subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit that thumbs up button and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. We should just leave you out here on the porch. You're the best looking decor out here. Wow, mm. Mr. Moss. You know. <laughs>